Hey guys, welcome to day three of Jason in Japan. On this day, Vivian and I decided to go to Katsukura, an amazing tonkatsu restaurant located inside of a Takashimaya in Shinjuku. We actually got recommended to go here by a couple from Indonesia, whom we happened to sit next to the day before at a sukiyaki restaurant. Which, by the way, if you like sukiyaki, definitely check out this place called Yoshihashi. I unfortunately didn't get really good footage of us eating there because they didn't allow cameras inside the restaurant, but whatever footage I got got repurposed into this video, so check out Yoshihashi if you like sukiyaki. Anyways, back to the video. Now, upon looking it up on Google, we actually found out Katsukuro is a very famous tonkatsu restaurant. If you do a search right now, you're gonna see a ton of travel blogs talking about uh, this being one of the best tonkatsu places that they ever had. If you go to TripAdvisor, you're gonna see like over 200 something reviews, uh, four star ratings, and all of that good stuff. So, if you're looking for a great tonkatsu place, Katsukuro highly recommend it. And as you can see in this video, we had to get in line because of just how popular it is. Luckily, the wait wasn't too long and sitting there just kind of gave us enough time to go over the English menu to pick what we wanted. I'm going to grind up these sesame seeds in this bowl here. And then afterwards, you're supposed to add the tonkatsu sauce. This one I think is the sweet sauce and this is a spicy sauce. Okay. So the bowl's cool because it already has these indentations in there, so it makes it easier to grind it up. Oh, it smells really good. So my sesame seeds are all grounded up, and I'm gonna mix it with the sauce. This is the tonkatsu sauce. Very good. Okay. Okay. Mike. I got the. Wow. Oh, thank you. Hmm. Random, but I really like this <laughs> this salad. I think people are uh, more interested in the tonkatsu. Okay. Stop teasing our viewers. Where's my sauce go? You took my sauce. Sorry. You can't eat it without my sauce. Thank you. Here you go. All right. It's very crispy. They use some, I think the, the batter they use is so fine. And then the pork is very tender. Yum. Mm. I love it. like it? Love it. Yay. So glad. Good thing we ran into that couple yesterday. Mm -hmm. They use the same crust for the croquette. Oh, I just really like that crust. Mm. The, cr the bread meat. Okay, and inside is just potato. Mmm. Just potato and then the crust. It's really good. I'm used to eating like croquettes with like peas and carrots in it. This one just has like, it's just potato and it's not overly salty or anything. So I think you're supposed to dip it. But I also like is that the potato, there's like actual like chunks of potato. You know, it's not just like the whole thing is not just mashed. Like you can, you can actually taste the texture of the potato. It's really good. Okay, so I have this, the giant prawn. It is huge, it's so long. And they use the same, you know, code breading. And it comes with like a tartar sauce. So I'm gonna dip this in, I don't know how. Okay. Mmm. 
I just have to know this is a giant piece of shrimp. Very good. The shrimp is really fresh. Like very like crispy, I guess. Mmm. I think this would taste good like even with this sauce too. I don't think you really need the tartar sauce for it, but it's really good. She loves her cabbage. Mmm. This cabbage with the sauce. It's so good. I could eat this all the time. And this cabbage is so fine. I don't know how they shred it so finely. It's just really refreshing. Piece. So good. I'm done too. I like the combo plate. They gave you just enough pork and they gave that giant shrimp. So it's like the best of both the shrimp and pork. And I think I'm gonna think about this cabbage for a really long time. Like this, this cabbage with that dressing. Can't do it. Seems like I like the cabbage more than I like the pork. I don't know. There's something about this cabbage because it's like it's so fine that it, it kind of like this is such a bad comparison, but I would compare it to like, to like eating like, you know when you eat shaved ice and you have like the gross shaved ice that's all these like big ice chunks and then you have like the fine shaved snow that you get at like those Taiwanese dessert places. It's like that. This cabbage is like that fine shaved snow. And then the, all the other shredded cabbages at home where it's like you're eating like chunks of like cold cabbage and it has that cabbage flavor and it just tastes like you're eating like hard pieces of ice. Weird comparison. I never thought I would compare cabbage to shaved, <laughs> shaved ice. But that's how I would prefer it. It's so good. You shaking your head again? Yeah. <laughs> there you have it, folks. Come here for the best cabbage in the world, not for the tonkatsu. So we just finished at Kasukura, and the total for the both of us came out to be about $46, so maybe about $23 a person for our whole meal and with the potato croquettes and as you know unlimited rice soup and the salad i thought it was a pretty good deal you think so for a really good pork all right you guys should come check it out it is in the takashimaya building in shinjuku on the 14th floor